dear friends this is my tutorial 3 so in this video I'm going to explain how to perform single point energy calculation using West code SF calculation required four input files file 1 in-car file containing the SCF calculation parameter the second one is postcard file containing the atomic position optimized third one podcar file containing the pseudo potential of the atoms k point file fourth one and finally job submission script first we will see the in core file for single point energy calculation this is the in core file for the single point energy calculation so you, you can see the highlighter um, colored one so in order to do the single point energy calculation you need to change L wave into true and L charge into true so you, you, if you change L charge into true then only the calculation will write the charge curve file uh, this charge curve file very important to get different kind of uh, electronic structure analysis so third one is I brown minus one on NSW you must put zero for single point energy calculation and this is the maximum tag based on your postcard file you can alter this one then we will see the postcard file <coughs> this is the my postcard file so my postcard file containing carbon nitrogen and Fe atoms so carbon 66 uh, atoms and nitrogen 4 atom and iron 1 atom and present in the my system so then we will see the postcard file so I already told that in my postcard three different uh, atom is there so for that we this is the first one is uh, port card for carbon atom second one is nitrogen for port card for nitrogen atom and third one is port card for Fe atom so we you need these three port card file in order to do various single point energy calculation then k point file so this is the k point file mk pack so i actually use 441 for my system and finally submission script this is the wasp submission script using this script you you can submit your calculation so after completion of the calculation you will get the charge curve file from this charge curve file you can do the charge density analysis and the spin density analysis electron localization function and the electron density differences and battery charge analysis so this uh, five important analysis you can do with this charge curve file In next video i'm going to teach you how to do the spin density calculation using wasp code Thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and share and also um, please click the bell icon to get update thank you thank you for watching